All right, Devastated Squad, good afternoon and happy Tuesday. It's going to be a fun time today. <laughs> I'm super excited. We're going to open an entire case of these guys today. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Speed Duel Midterm Destruction. We're going to be rocking and rolling here very shortly. We've got six whole boxes to go through. And we're going to also just take a look at Speed Duel. I've never done Speed Duel before. I've never looked at Speed Duel before other than just opening up some of the products. So today I actually want to spend some time like looking at the cards. And of course we're going to open up our secret rare packs. Those are the best thing. So hopefully we can get some fossil diamond pack of cephalos. But I definitely want to uh, want to take a peek at some of these cards, you know. So let's jump on into it, baby. Be a lot of fun. Speed duel is pretty. It's pretty cool. Like I gotta say, like the the products are pretty neat. Um, overall, we've done two of these so far, and. Uh, I've been blown away both times. So far, I've been blown away, absolutely blown away both times by these things. Yeah. One of these days, we got to, like, check out all these products. Because there's a lot of them. There's, like, I think there's, like, four of them for GX. And then there's, uh, two for the Duel Monsters era. But, uh, I know the, the, the first Battle City box is pretty hard to get a hold of. Pretty hard to get a hold of, but hopefully one day we can find one. We got plenty of the other ones uh, still here, but uh, maybe we should pick up the GX ones too. Tight. Yeah. Do the lights for ready to play decks. So this product is like we've done a review on it uh, in one of our videos, and uh, super cool. Like a lot of good cards in here. There's some brand new cards that have never come out before in the TCG or anywhere in general. Um, so it's kind of neat that there's like original cards that get released in these and, uh, yeah, I don't know. Should be cool. Shall we open them up? We got the puppies with us today. It's going to be a fun time. Okay. Maybe it'll work. Yeah. Nice. All right. There we go. Okay. I'm going to open these up upside down because I don't want to see the secret rares because they're like packed right on top. We want those to be a mystery. I also pulled out one of the uh, Battle City, Streets of Battle City boxes too. So we can just kind of like take a look at the cards that come in that product again. It's been a while since we've touched that one. That was, that came out in like July, dude. Okay. So the thing I want to learn about Speed Duel is like how the characters work. Is it similar to... <laughs> I don't know if there's rule, any rules on this thing. I'm assuming it's similar to kind of like how Duel Links functions. That's going to be my guess. It's going to be similar to Duel Links. Holy. Okay, the whole back of the thing has like all the stuff on the back. Of oh. There's a lot of stuff on this. The whole thing is covered with text. When you flip over the map, the entire thing is covered from, from like corner to corner. Okay. I'll see here. The so standard rules for speed duel. Each duel begins with 4,000 life points. Just kind of similar. I, exactly like in speed in duel links then. Your deck needs to gain 20 to 30 cards. Yep. Zero to six cards in the extra deck. Only the fusion monsters exist so far in duel in this. In duel links, they have everything. Each duelist chooses one skill card before the duel and places it next to their field zone and extra deck. So that's the thing I'm like curious about is how do the how do those work? How do you utilize your skill? I wonder how tell it's gotta tell us how. Oh here we go. Rules for skill card. Right over here, chat. Skill cards will help you make the grade. Make the grade and win the fight. You are not required to use skill cards. But if you do, choose exactly one skill card before each duel. Place that one skill card face down next to your field zone or extra deck unless the skill card instructs you to do something else with it. Okay. Oh, because, like, I'm going to read that. Speaking of, you have the skill cards here on the back of this one. So we have the Jaden or the heroes on one side and the bad guys on the other. Even though Jim Cook... Jim Cook's not necessarily a bad guy. It's not the Jim one came on the left in this side and... This one was the Hassleberry and Jaden. 
I'm so confused as to why Jim's even in this. Because <laughs> Jim, Jim isn't even in this season of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, dude. He didn't come until the next season. Um, season 3. This is season 2 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, GX. But, you know. Alright, here's our pull tab. I want to take a look at our skill cards first. I want to read these and like see what do they even do. Okay. I'll move this over. All right. Let's see. We've got Aster Phoenix. You draw one less card at the beginning of the duel. During your main phase, you can activate the skill as a continuous spell card. Okay. So do these, these just go off to the side? So these are what go next to your deck, and then you like, they have their own activation cost, and then they get flipped over and turn into something. So this one is called Shouldering a Destiny. It's Aster Skill Continuous Spell. When this card is activated, you can add one Destiny Hero Plasma from your deck or graveyard to your hand. While you control Destiny Hero Plasma, apply the following effects. You cannot draw during the draw phase. Each Destiny Hero Plasma you control gains 100 attack for each monster in the graveyard. That's actually pretty neat. And I'll be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Also can make a second attack during each battle phase. Okay. Neat. Alright, Zane Truesdale. Put this card over when you activate this skill. Okay, so his his said that you couldn't do your draw. You draw one less card at the beginning of the duel. Oh, so this is like you just draw less cards. So instead of opening with five cards, you open with four. That's what that means. Okay. So this one doesn't say that. This one just says flip this card over when you activate this skill. Zane slash skill. Once per turn, you can activate one of these skills. Return one face up or face on cyber dark monster you control to the hand. Reveal it if it's face down. And if you do immediately after the skill resolves, you can normal summon one cyber dark monster. That's cool. Once per duel, send one monster card in your spell and trap card zone. Equip to a Cyberdark Fusion monster to the graveyard. Then equip one monster your opponent controls to that monster. Cyberdark Fusion monsters gain attack equal to their attack of the monster. Though, that's pretty cool. See, I definitely want to see these other GX sets because I'm sure that these skills are relevant. Because, like, I haven't, I haven't seen any Cyberdark cards or Destiny Hero cards yet. Uh, opening up the two that we've done, obviously. Streets of Battle City ain't going to have none of that. Blowski, the Moki Mokis, dude. This one's the best. <laughs> I want a full on just Moki Moki deck, man. <laughs> That's so funny. So it actually commented in the video because I was like joking about like, yo, Konami, give us the Moki Moki deck. They were saying like, if you open up all these products, there's actually pieces of this guy's deck thrown into every single one of the products. So it's like, that makes me even more excited to want to open up the, the, like all the sets for the Yugo GX Speed Duel. Okay, so Blowski, what does he do? <laughs> Moki Moki Madness. All right, so Blowski says, apply the following skill. If all monsters you control are Moki Moki monsters, minimum one, effect monsters cannot attack the turn they are summoned. Okay, that's pretty neat. Once per duel, if you control two or more fairy monsters, you can place one Moki Moki continuous spell from your deck face up to your spell trap card zone. And if you do, destroy one monster you control. That will actually just like fully make the Moki Mokis mad. Make them big. Once per duel, you can discard one card to fusion someone. one Moki Moki came from extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. That's a pretty good skill. I like that. Okay. I've always wanted to learn how to play the speed duel, man. I'm a huge fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelings. I love dueling so much. The Society of Lights. All right, Chaz Princeton, what you got? Chaz it up. It's called Invitation to the Society, Chad. It says, if your opponent's monster is equipped with White Veil, you control, take control... Of that monster while it's equipped with white veil you can only attack with monsters equipped with white veil the turn you activate white veil that is such a joke what is this <laughs> if your opponent's monster is equipped with white veil you control take control of that monster while it's equipped with white veil you can only activate with you only attack with monsters equipped with white veil to activate white veil. what is this dude it's a mess stupid all right we got jim cook at the start of the duel, flip this card over. Alright? As Jim say. Dig side inspection. Once per turn, during your draw phase, before you draw, you can excavate the top cards of your deck. 
and place it on top or bottom of the deck. After you place the second card to the bottom of your deck with the skill, flip this card over. That's pretty good. Before you draw, you can activate the top card of the deck and place it on the top or the bottom. That's actually pretty neat. So you can like manipulate your draw with him. Oh, flip this card over. So these can only be used one time and then they just like go off to the side back over. So you can't use this for like the entire duel. You just use it twice and then he's done. He's tag he flips it back over. Okay. Hi, here we go. Tyrannal Hassleberry. Step right up, soldier. <laughs> I love this character so much. Dino DNA. All right, what do we got? Dino Rain Immunity. By the following skills, the battle position of dinosaur monsters cannot be changed by trap cards or effects. Level 7 or higher dinosaur monsters on the field cannot be targeted by spell, <laughs> spell cards or effects. That's pretty good if you have your big dude out. Um, Ultimate Tyranno or Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. That's cool. All right, that's actually a really good one. All right, we've got Sartorius. Good old Sartorius from the Society of Light. Dude, his face when he goes evil is crazy. I remember watching as a kid that uh that part of the show i was like woof dude this guy's mean all right we got magicians scales once per duel you contribute one arcana force monster and add one normal spell from your deck to your hand what also for the rest of the duel you cannot special you cannot summon any monsters except arcana force i mean that's not a big deal for this guy because that's like all he plays <laughs> it's the arcana force cards okay that's kind of neat though so you trigger an Arcana Force monster and add on any normal spell card from deck to your hand. That's pretty sweet. Okay, I like that one. I like that one, chat. All right, we got Jade and Yuki getting your game on. Oh, I should be wearing my jacket today, dude. That was, that was fun to wear the uh, Slifer Slacker gear for the video the other day. Wise Man Neos. All right, so Jaden's skill says Elemental Hero Neos and Fusion Monsters that mention Elemental Hero ne Neos as material gain the following effect. Or damage calculation if this card battles an opponent's monster you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to half that opponent's monster's original attack huh so all elements of hero neos so neos himself and the fusion monsters for him get this effect before damage calculation if this card battles an opponent's monster you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to half that original attack that's pretty cool okay all right i got another jim crocodile cook this one's the major in paleontology once per turn you can there's a long one once per turn you can banish one card from your hand face down place one dig counter on this skill Ma maximum one if a face up fossil fusion monster you control is destroyed by card effect you can place one dig counter on this skill once per turn during your main phase you can remove one dig counter from the skill to fusion summon one fossil fusion monster from extra deck by banishing materials mentioned on it from graveyards okay so it's kind of cool so it kind of just lets you uh cheat fusions like you know that's one of the things i like in duel links man is when you get those abilities that you cheat stuff like seto kaiba from uh dark side of dimension is my favorite skill in, in duel links because this lets you cheat making any of the uh fusions for blue eyes and you don't even have to have them in your extra deck they just appear in your extra deck and then you get a polymerization in your hand for free it's so sick all right, so Tyrannal Hasselberry's got another skill here, which says top of the food chain. Here we go. Once per turn, you can apply one of these skills. Destroy one dinosaur or reptile monster control, then special summon one dinosaur monster whose level is level one or higher from your hand or deck. You contribute summon one dinosaur monster by banishing two dinosaur and a reptile monster from your graveyard. That's a good one. Instead of using it for tribute summons from your field, you can just banish them. That's actually kind of cool. You don't have... I don't think he's got Giant Rex, though. <laughs> to banish it and come back. I don't think he's got Giant Rex. That'd be pretty insane. Alright, another Sartorius skill. Destructive Fate. During your turn, when you would toss... During your turn, when you would toss a coin for the effect of a monster spell, you may lose half your life points to declare the result instead. That's cool. During the end phase of your third turn, flip this card over. That's kind of neat. So this one lets you do straight up cheat by spending half your life. That's cool. Okay. That's how he did it in, this, in the show. He just wasn't doing the math. Straight out of Neo Space. If only your opponent controls a monster, you can special summon one element to your Neos from your hand. Also for the rest of this turn, 
Cannot special summon except element of hero or neo spatial monsters during your end phase. If a fusion monster you control is returned to your extra deck, crush someone else here. That's cool. Those are all pretty good. I feel like if I was to build a deck out of any of these ones, it would probably be. Oh, I'd love to do the Moki Moki Madness. Probably would be straight out of Neo's face. That one's pretty dang good. The food chain one is pretty good too. I guess if we had cards for these guys, these ones would be good, but we don't have any cards for them. Because this product focuses on these guys over here. Alright. Speaking of, let's look at the cards. Okay. I think there's a new Arcana Force in this. Is it this one? 20, is 21 the world a new? I don't think this is a new card. I don't remember. It's been a long time. These are old, man. Arcana Force cards, these are like... Dude, these are like Light of Destruction era. This is old Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. <laughs> Holy. Okay. The Fool. I remember this one. This one was actually pretty popular uh, in competitive play for a little while. It was like an... It was like... Um, uh, it was like a... It acted like as another Spirit Reaper. The Spirit Reaper was limited. He's, he was limited in Yu-Gi-Oh for many years back in the old school days. The card was just too good. Uh, this was a kind of like a, another another way you can kind of cheat not dying kind of thing by playing uh, you know the fool because he cannot be destroyed by battle so it's like you just have him sit there in defense cannot be changed to defense defense position or you just have him in offense that's right can't be changed to defense so this is the that you have to do these flips negate your card effects that target this card and if you do destroy them negate your opponent's card effects target this card and if you do destroy them so this you wanted the tails because you didn't want anybody to like destroy this card right it was kind of annoying though um i remember i remember playing this against this card sometimes uh back in the competitive days what's up savvy okay of force won the magician this one i don't i've never seen before is this a new one? I don't know. So it's like I don't remember a lot of these Arcana Force cards, man. Empress. Emperor. I think this one's new, maybe. I don't know. I don't know which one of these are new or old. Because these came out. I know for sure. Good amount of them came out in uh in light of destruction or yeah light of destruction and then like set bef after that i think chariot yeah, i don't know if a lot of these like i've seen these in the show like they're in the an these are in the anime they're in the anime okay we've got temperance coming in Dude, these cards are so neat. Like, I remember I always wanted to play a deck with these cards in it back in the day. I just didn't have a lot of these, you know? The moon, I remember very, very much. <laughs> I opened a lot of the set he came out of. <laughs> I've never getting these for days as commons. 100%. You haven't seen the magician before yourself? Okay, this one is definitely brand new. For sure. It's on the side of the... This one has got to be brand new. I've never, ever seen this card before. Arcana Force EX, the Light Ruler. Dude, that's pretty sick. Okay. This is a new card too, Arcana Reading. I want to read this. Actually, let's read the uh, this guy too, the Light Ruler. It's going to very slow. I just want to go through all these cards. I don't, get, I don't get to do this when I film the videos for these things. <laughs> I just got to like zoom through them and go, Oh, that's cool. That's fun. Today, I just want to, like, read the GX cards from here and open some more of the uh, the booster packs. So, we've got a whole case here that we're going to be going through. Um, for, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, for, like, the secret rare booster pack things. But also, like, I want to just take a look at each of the decks, too. Because I want to try and learn how to play Speed Duel. Um, I've always wanted to, like, learn how to play it. Because, like, like I said earlier, I'm a huge fan of Duel Links. I love Duel Links, man. This is essentially like a real life version of Duel Links. Jaden Kudo, good to see you. Chariot looks like a robot from an episode of Ben 10. I know, doesn't it? It's kind of wild. Kind of, kind of wild. Yeah, look at all the text on this guy. 
We're going to zoom in on it and we're going to focus the cam. Cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be special summoned from your hand by sending three monsters you control to the graveyard. Uh, if this card is special summoned, toss a coin. Heads. When this card destroys an opponent's monster of battle, send it to the graveyard. Target one card in your graveyard and add it to your hand. Okay, that's pretty cool. If it's tails, when a spell or trap card or monster effect that targets this card is activated, quick effect, this card loses exactly 1,000 and you negate, negate the activation if you destroy it. Yo. Okay. And that's not once per turn. It doesn't look like it. That just doesn't look like it's once per turn either. So if you just keep targeting him, you can just continuously negate stuff. That's kind of that's kind of nasty. Okay, here's Arcana reading. Let's look at this. Toss a coin and apply the effect. If light barrier is in your field zone, you can choose the effect instead. Heads, add one card from your deck to your hand that has a coin tossing effect, except Arcana reading. If it's tails, your opponent adds one card from their deck to their hand. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Immediately after this effect resolves, normal summon an Arcana Force monster. Okay, that's pretty good. This tails effect is kind of sad, so you definitely don't want to play this going for the tail flip the, the coin flips you need to have the field spell out you get the tails is your opponent adds a card from their deck to their hand any card that's crazy <laughs> okay here's light barrier this is the field spell i think this is brand new too i don't remember this card back in the old days maybe we'll get to revisit those old sets man there's rumors right now uh some big rumors floating around right now in the Yu-Gi-Oh news that konami is uh Potentially reprinting a bunch of the old Yu-Gi-Oh GX sets and if, just like they did last year for the you know when we did our That's what we started our channel on was those old uh, dual monsters era sets, right? Um, they reprinted those for 20th anniversary of Yu-Gi-Oh And uh, yeah, so like I say, there's there's a big rumor going around that they people think that they're gonna do that for GX this year and that they're gonna do light of destruction the set, you know, a lot of these came out in, but for the Light Swarms, because Light Swarms are coming out in Legacy of Destruction at the end of this month. Um, so people are thinking like, oh, they got to reprint a lot of these cards, and then it's just like Edison stuff, so let's reprint, you know, a bunch of these GX products. There's no truth to it yet. There has been some, like, listings for a Light of Destruction booster box on stores in Europe, the UK, and in Australia, but nothing in North America yet. Um, so take it with a grain of salt. It's not, I don't know if it's officially real news yet, but, uh, if so, dude, <laughs> I want to open some light instruction. Okay. Light barrier. Let's read this. Once per turn during your standby phase, toss a coin. If the result is tails, the following effects are negated until your next standby phase. When you summon a arcana force, choose which effect to apply without tossing a coin. If your Arcana Force monster destroys an opponent's monster in battle, you gain life points equal to destroy monsters' original attack. Wow. Dang. That is an insanely powerful field spell, man. Holy. So this is where you use the, the skill for this guy. The Sartorius skill lets you, like, th up to three times in a game, choose whatever flip you want by paying half your life points. You can choose the result of a, of a coin flip. You obviously, like, when you have this out, you want to choose heads so you can have these right for all of your plays cup of ace a classic sartorius card found in the sky yep this is old this is from like the old like starting to the agents monsters <laughs> same with valhalla hollow of the fallen it's like uh this is a call of the mummy for for fairy types not too shabby okay arcana call okay this one i've never seen before Target one Arcana Force monster you control and one Arcana Force monster in either graveyard. Banish the second target from the graveyard. And if you do until the end phase, the first target's effect gained as a result of a coin toss becomes a banished monster's effect for the same coin toss result. Huh. Okay. So this one kind of lets you like change the effects of the ones that you have in your field. Um, that's kind of neat. And obviously, if you like, if you played the mirror match for <laughs> for Sartorius, you could banish your opponent's cards and then you take their effects. That's kind of neat. Okay, this is new. I've, ne I've never seen this card ever, dude. Reversal of Fate. It's just like a roulette table, bro. That's so funny. 
Target one Arcana Force monster you control, that monster's effect is now treated as the opposite coin toss result. Dude, these are so crazy. These are the kind of cards that Joey Wheeler needed, you know? Because Joey's deck is all is just all sack luck, right? <laughs> Stuff like this is what Joey needs. Go roulette spider! Oh no, my monsters! <laughs> Activate this! <laughs> Little Joey. Okay, we got Divine Wrath. The classic. By order of the Emperor. Dude, this looks like Caius the Mega Monarch on it, dude. That's crazy, dude. He's massive. That's one of my favorite parts of this uh, season of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX is when they go to Domino City and they meet Yugi's grandpa and go to like to his card shop and stuff. And then they start to put their like plan in motion to take over the world and all of the monarchs show up as like titans around the city. Um as dual spirits. So obviously the only people that can see them are the people that can see the dual spirits, like Jaden and Hatzelberry and so on. But I that was one of my favorite parts of the show. So like, oh dude, there's there's Mobius and Ryza and Caius and right. I was I was so sick that they used those as kind of like the symbols of like oppression. Because those cards are pretty nasty, right? The monarchs are powerful cards in these old Yu-Gi-Oh! days. Inverse universe. That's a new card too. Dude, this guy's deck has so many new cards I've never seen before. Okay, so that's Sartorius's. This one is Jim Cook's next. So Jim Cook had a really interesting skill card as well. Oh, there's two of them in here, but this was the really good one. This one lets you fusion summon uh, by banishing monsters from your graveyard instead of having to have them on your field or in your hand. It's pretty sick. But you have to... You have to resolve with a dig counter on it, I guess, which is kind of weird, but to each their own. Ryan, what's up? Gaia Plate the Earth Giant. Today I'm doing what I wanted to do. Or the, the, today I'm doing what I always want to do when I open products for you guys is sit here and just like read them, you know? <laughs> I don't, I don't have that luxury when we're filming, right? Because we're on a clock. Like, we got to get in and out fast, right? For videos. But live streams, this is a different story. So today, we're going through all of these Speed Duel decks card by card. And then we're going to open all of the whole case of secret rares uh, that we have. Um, and hopefully, we can see some better ones today. And we didn't see last... I mean, we saw, like, the best ones last time. Except for Fossil Dino. But I want to see Grandma. I want to see Neo Sale. I want to collect the whole set, right? Okay, we got Gaia Plate, the Earth Giant. This is a really old card. Uh, I remember someone commented saying this was new. It's not. Uh, this card is very old. This was, a, I think, a secret rare, actually, in, in its original printing. Or maybe, maybe it was Ultra Ulti. One of the two. It was either a secret or an Ultra Ulti, but it's an old card. It is, it is, this was an actual card. It's not new. But it's good. This card is good. To show you, once per turn during your standby phase, banish a rock monster from your graveyard or send this card to the graveyard. You can special summon this card from your hand by banishing two rock monsters from your graveyard. It's pretty good. And then uh, does some shenanigans with the attack points. This card, though, we want to see this in secret rare for sure. For sure. A classic fossil dino pack of Cephalo. Gonna need these. If you're gonna play Edison format, you need these. You need a play set of these guys. Or two of them, rather. You need two of them. Dude. It's such a power. It's such a powerful card. Like, so many times, man, in the old days where you, like, blow people out with this card. <laughs> you know? It's so good. This card is flip face up, destroy all special summon monsters on the field, man. It's so gross. And then neither playing can special summon monsters. That's the reason why you played this. You just normal summon it and then, like, protect it with traps, right? They have to, they have a hard time doing anything. Flint Kraga. This is this is a good one. This card is special summon, discard one card, and if you do, send a fossil fusion monster from your extract to the graveyard. You can send this card from the field to the graveyard and inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Then, if fossil fusion is in your graveyard, you can return to your graveyard one of your banished cards at is fossil fusion or mentions it. That's such a good card. I can't remember if fossil fusion is in his deck or not. I, I would imagine it probably is. Okay, Mega Rock Dragon. This is a classic. I remember when he first got printed in. I think he was a super rare. And then he got put in the, uh, the like Zodios uh, structure deck. Okay, Shell Knight I've never seen before. I've never seen this one. This is a, this is a bizarre looking creature. 
When this card is normal summon, you can change this card to defense position. Okay, it's got 2,000. And if you do inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Okay, we, love, we like to burn people. Um, if this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect or destroyed by battle, you can add one level 8 rock monster from your deck to your hand. Like Gaia Plate. <laughs> um, if Fossil Fusion is in your graveyard, you can special summon it instead. Okay. For the rest of this turn, you cannot activate effects or the effects of cards with the same name as that card. That's fine. Not too bad. That's a good card. Dang. Okay. Okay. We take those. Weathering Soldier. This card is destroyed by battle or sent to the graveyard by a card effect. You can add one Fossil Fusion or one card that mentions Fossil Fusion except Weathering Soldier to your hand. Okay, so Fossil Fusion's got to be in here then because all, all these cards so far are mentioned. Revival Golem. Dude, nice. Look at that 2100 defense, man. Jeez. This card is sent from the deck to the graveyard. Activate one of these effects. Special on this card or add this card to your hand. Kind of like a... It's like a Light Swarm Wolf, but not good, you know? <laughs> Big Tusk Mammoth. Okay, this one's new too, I think. Monsters your opponent controls cannot attack the turn they are summoned. That's pretty good, actually. Especially in something like Speed Duel, man, where it's like super... Close. Game's supposed to be really fast paced and quick, you know, hence the word speed. Speaking of, there's not just speed duel, there's rush duel as well. It's only in Japan right now. We actually have a lot of rush duel products here in the studio, and we're going to open those on the uh, channel in the coming weeks. We're going to do some videos around it and some live streams around rush duel. But uh, I want to explore speed duel as well. Always wanted to learn how to play it. Fossil Tusker, look at that guy. <laughs> it just looks like a gorilla, dude. <laughs> just fall it apart. Or like a weird dog. Actually, kind of looks like a weird dog. Got like a, I don't know. Is this a do you think it's more like a dog or more like a like a like a like an ape or something? I don't know. It's its own. It's fossil tusker. It's its own thing, dude. <laughs> it's its own thing. Type says I looked it up. The newest Arcana cards, Arcana Reading from 2020, and the Fiend, which is in this set. It makes sense. I don't remember any of them, bro. They were not, other than the Fool and the Chariot and uh, the Moon. I don't remember any of them, dude. Thanks for checking. Yeah, they were, so they were all probably from Light of Destruction, huh? Medusa Worm, that's a classic. Time Stream, dude, look at this card. Target one Fossil Fusion Monster you control, tribute it. And if you do special summon one Fossil Fusion Monster from your extra deck, Whose original level is too higher than that monster's. That is sick. Dude. It's treated as a fusion summon? Okay. During your main phase, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card and one fossil fusion monster. And target one fossil fusion monster in the graveyard special summon. That's a good, that is a good card. That's all around. That is a good card. Pot of Avarice. So far out of the two decks, man. I'd probably pick this one over over Sartorius's. I think this deck is just very like just straight down to it, you know. Not a lot of not a lot of monkey business. Refusion. It's an equipment spell card. Activate this card by paying 800 life points to target on a fusion monster in your graveyard. Special summon and equip it with this card. Okay, so this is like premature burial for fusion monsters. That's cool. That's the exact same cost too. 800 life points. That's sick, dude. A M S T. Ghoulish Burial. This should have been in here as a secret rare too. This was a miss. This was a misstep on their part. Konami, you should have put this as a secret as well. They put MST and Avarice. This would have been a good one too. I think the last time, I think the only time this card was printed secret rare was in freaking Legendary Collection Joey World, bro. That is a that that product's like a, over a decade old, and it's very expensive <laughs> to find that product. That's one of my favorite sets of all time because it has like all the vanilla monsters in the set. Their text boxes are exclusively like different for that set. And they all have like stupid flavor text of what Joey says about the monsters. It's it's silly. It's so funny. <laughs> like, if you ever could look at Joey's World Commons, look for all the vanilla monsters that Joey uses, and they all have like Joey catchphrases on them. It's it's hysterical. Sakuretsu, we like that one. Release from the stone. Anyone in the chat ever played Speed Duel? I'm curious. Anyone ever touched this before or try it or wanted to try it rather? Target one of your banished rock monsters. Special summon it when this card leaves the field. Okay, so it's like uh, it's like uh, Escape from the Dark Dimension. A faint plan. <laughs> We're gonna go here. 
This card was actually really good at one point in Yu-Gi-Oh's history. <laughs> this actually was a really good card. Blasting Fuse. Hey, that's Cannon Soldier, dude. If all zones in this card's column are occupied while this card is set, destroy all cards in this column. That's kind of neat. What? <laughs> that's actually pretty good. So you have like your monster, their monster, and they have a set card or a spell. You just play this down and you just blow up the whole column, dude. That's pretty sick, actually. That's actually pretty good, dude. Dang. Pretty good synergy with these cards, too, to fill up the grave. That's actually a pretty cool card. <laughs> Wow, that's crazy. They all came from Light of Destruction. That's a set I opened a lot of when I was younger, but I was not paying attention to those cards. I was paying attention exclusively to the Light Sworn cards myself. Um, and also trying to hunt down Gazeris. You know, that was one of the big chase. I was a, I was a Gladiator Beast player. I was one of the big, big, big chase cards. Of Light of Destruction was Gladiator Beast Gazera. He's only super rare too, but like that was a that was a big card back there. Gazera's changed everything for GBs. All right, Spiritual Earth Art Kur Kuragane. I want the water art for these. I have some ideas for this card for the the water art version from for modern day with Sky Strikers actually. But all of these all these like little summoners had trap cards back in the day. There we go. Here's the guy. Here's the guys. Fossil Dragon Skull Gaios. Dude, look at that thing. It's like right back to the show, chat. This is so cool. Takes one rock monster plus one level seven or higher monster in your opponent's graveyard. Must first be special summon with fossil. Let's let's bring it up closer. Fossil Fusion wasn't even in here. Did anyone see Fossil Fusion? The card? Like the whole deck talks about fossil fusion. I didn't even see fossil fusion in these cards. Uh, before damage calculation, if this card battles opponent's monster, you can switch the current attack and defense of that opponent's monster until the end of the damage step. If this card attacks a defense of this monster, inflict piercing damage. Ooh. If this fusion summon card battles an opponent's monster, any battle damage inflicts but it is doubled. Oh, that's nasty, dude. <laughs> that's a nasty card. Crazy good. Good old skill, skill guy. Oh, did you say G? Oh, this is the one I'm excited. This, is, this one is amazing. This was great episodes in the show when he summons this. The skull buggy, man. Lord, what's up? Interesting cards. Never seen these ones. Really need to watch all the different Yu-Gi-Oh's. These are all pretty much all GX era. That was actually one one thing I had. We'll, we'll look at the Battle City one today as well. Um, hey, Penny puppies in here I, I i'm gonna well we're gonna bring out the ba streets of battle city as well and look at some of the cards there too um but yeah we're, i want to start with these but this card this card is awesome look at this um must first be special summon with fossil fusion when this card destroys an opponent's monster battle you can flick 600 damage to your opponent you can banish this card from your graveyard add one monster from your deck to your hand that mentions fossil fusion that's so good and then we got Fossil Warrior Skull Bone. God, these cards are so pretty, dude. I love the gloss and the shine on these, man. They're so cool looking. Let's first be such someone with Fossil Fusion. <laughs> Soul Fusion. This card can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase. You banish this card from the graveyard. Add one time stream from your deck to your hand. That's pretty good. Hey, Skull Knight. This is like his ace card, dude. He uses, well, Skull Gaios is his ace, but he uses this one the most. Most common. Must first be such a summon with false fusion. This card attacks a defense position monster. It pierces. When this attacking monster destroys a monster by battle, you can activate this effect. This card can make a second attack in a row. Kind of like Black Luster Soldier, Envoy at the beginning. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Target one monster on the field. Destroy it. You can only use this effect of Fossil Skull Knight once per turn. Very good card. So is it just me or was Fossil Fusion not in this thing? What? <laughs> How am I supposed to play my deck, dude? And there's no fossil fusions in here, man. Gabriel says it's a skill card. Gabriel, welcome, man. It's so good to have you here. Okay, let's check it. Is it one of these? Neither of these had fossil fusion. There was major and paleontology with the dig tokens, and there was dig site inspection. Okay, let's read these again. We'll read these again. Gabriel, welcome, man. So good to see you, my friend. How you doing today? 
Lord says, I only watch the original Yu-Gi-Oh. Ooh, if you only watch original Yu-Gi-Oh, that's good enough. That's good Yu-Gi-Oh. GX is a fun time, though. I gotta say. GX is my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh generation of all time. I love this season of Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, so this is the one, before you draw, you, this is the one where you can look at the top card of your deck so you can choose if you want to draw it or not. Major in Paleontology, banish one card from your face down, then place one dig counter on this skill. Face a fossil fusion monster you control is destroyed by card effect. You can place one dig counter on this skill. Once per turn during your main phase, you can remove one dig counter from the skill to fusion summon one fossil fusion monster for extra deck by banishing materials mentioned on it. From Oh, there we go. It says, this is treated as a fusion summon with fossil fusion. There you go. That's it. That's how you get it done. So you use this card. Okay. And this is uh, just, it looks like a continuous skill up just lasts forever. Okay. That's good. Okay. Let's go. There's more skill cards. Let's look. Okay. That's the first side. That's Jim Cook and Sartorius. Look at the other side. So this one's gonna have Jane Yuki's Neo stuff, and it's gonna have uh, what you call it in it as well. The uh, uh, Hasselberry stuff. It's Rockade says heroes best deck. Let's go. <laughs> I like that. What an entrance, dude. I love heroes myself too. I've always been a huge hero fan. One of my favorite decks to play in the uh, the la like the old school days, like the hero, those like really strong hero days, man, was like the Gemini beat heroes, dude. You know, you you would just probably prioritize around Neo Salius and uh, Gemini Spark to like clear your bo opponent's field and then just make massive plays with stuff like. Absolute Zero and The Shining using good old Miracle Fusion. Oh, that was a good time for heroes. <laughs> Rush Duel. I want to try Rush Duel so bad. I have yet to try it on Duel Links. It would be fun to try it in real life. I can't read any of the cards because they're all in Japanese. We have some of that here, though. I have a case of the newest Rush Duel set. It just came here pretty recently from Japan. And uh, we're going to crack into those... Probably in the next week or two on the channel. I'll film a video for opening some of it. And we're also going to open some of it on the live stream too for you guys. So super stoked to look at some Rush Duel cards. Because they're entirely different looking. Like the whole design of the card is different. You know, if you haven't seen one before. They're pretty cool looking. The fun thing about this set is it's it's filled with like alternate versions of Jinzo. And you guys know Jinzo is my favorite card in Yu-Gi-Oh right back there the one we pulled out of psv baby Woo. <laughs> he's covered up today by the ball put the box put the advertisement box like right there oh, jinzo's gonna be covered up all right jinzo you're gonna come closer to tour guide today my two favorite cards ever made right there you <laughs> jinzo and tour guide bro let's go all right here we go let's take a look at uh, jane yuki's ex we got neo's course neo salius there he is the man such a good this is such a good card because it's like Level 4, 1900, Warrior, Searchable with Reinforced Army, Searchable with Emergency Call, Searchable with Stratos. And you have Gemini Spark, you know, back then to kill it. So good. And the cool thing about the Gemini Spark is you didn't have to Gemini summon the monsters. You know, for those that don't know what Geminis are, this was a, a exclusively Yu-Gi-Oh! GX summoning mechanic. Um, 5Ds had, a, had some of it, but it, it kind of went extinct very fast. But this was a very interesting new like gimmick that they created during the GX era, where you would have Gemini monsters. So the Gemini monsters, when you play these down, they're they're normal types, they're vanillas. They don't have effects. In order to unlock their effects, you had to Gemini summon them, and to do that, it took your normal summon for the turn. So you summon down Alias, and then on your next turn, if he's still on the field, you can choose to Gemini summon it, and that was your normal summon for the turn, right? Some of the some of the Gemini cards didn't really do too well, but some of them were phenomenally crazy strong, dude. Neo Salius was one of the best ones. Ill Blood for zombies, that was probably the best Gemini monster ever printed. <laughs> Once per turn special summon a zombie. Woo! It's pretty good. Here we got Card Trooper, a classic, good old Jane Yuki card. 
Ross Porter. Okay, this one, this one I need to read. I haven't seen this one before. Other than like, I know it comes out in a booster set. It's not a brand new card. I just haven't read it. The target will monster you control. Send that target to the graveyard. And if you do special summon Neo Spatial Monster from your hand, this card is sent to the graveyard. You can add one Neo Spatial Monster from your deck to your hand. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, chat. <laughs> there he is, Danny Lion. I love this card so much. So many great memories playing Danny Lions in the old school days. Goodness. Great card. Especially when like Exceed Monsters first came out because this card, when you would like detach it from a rank three, you still get the fluff tokens. I remember when Exceeds first came out and people were using Tour Guide. The first ruling was that if you used Sangin, that was always the primary target of Tour Guide was Sangin. You detach Sangin from Leviathan Dragon, you would search a monster from your deck. And then they, when the first like official event happened for Generation Force, the judges were like, no, 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 no. That's not going to happen. <laughs> so they are, they have, they made a, they had official ruling that like Sangin did not work in that fashion. If you detach it as a material. All right. Air Hummingbird. It's the good old one that boosts your life points. Uh, all these cards look so good as ultimates, man. And they all come secret rare in this set. You know, the only one we saw it when we did the video of this product was this guy. So hopefully today we can see the others because they all come see. We saw Neo's. Well, I mean like the Neo Spatian little guys. We only saw this one last time. Hopefully we can see the rest of them. Dark Panther. Actually, I don't think this one comes secret. Definitely Neos Alias. Neo Spatian Grand Mole. Aqua Dolphin. Maybe Air Hummingbird does too. I'm not sure on Dark Panther. Let's see. Tandy is the best, right? Glow Moss. I love this one. This was such a hype moment in the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX anime when just like Jaden goes to outer space, has this lucid dream, and comes back with the sickest deck in the entire world. You know, <laughs> it's just like it was so crazy. Grand Mole, I love this card. Oh my gosh, I love that guy. I want to pull that in secret or so bad today. Neo Space, a classic, dude. Nice. It's your fusion way to fuse. Generation Next. This is a good card too. Chibi Chang in the house. How's it going? Oh, Oversoul. There it is. Contact Gate. This is a cool card. Got a little, got a little mole on it. <laughs> Convert Kit. This is a new card. This card I've never seen before either. You control no monsters. Send two Neospatial monsters from your hand. And one from your deck to the graveyard. Then draw two cards. Okay, so it's two. Send two, one from your hand and one from your deck to give a draw two cards. That is a good card. Just fell asleep on the couch back. Actually, you can see her. There. <laughs> That's a good card, dude. I like this one. I like that card a lot. And shuffle. That's a good card. Galaxy Cyclone. Okay, this one is not GX era. This is a. Uh... This is definitely like a uh, Arc V era card. I just can't remember what it said it came out. Maybe it was Zexel, like late Zexel, like Primal Origins or Legacy of the Valiant, but I think it came out after that. Somewhere around that area though. Somewhere around those like first parts of Arc V or the last bit of five, of uh, Zexel, this card came out. It was a secret rare. It was a busted card, dude. That card was really, <laughs> really good. Okay, we got next coming up. Good old next. Special summon any number of monsters with different names from your hand and or graveyard and defense position that are all Neospatian or Elemental Hero Neos. Gate their effects, and as long as you control any of those special summon monsters, face it, you cannot special summon the extra deck except fusion monsters. That's okay. <laughs> That's a good card. Bow, what's up, dude? How's it going? Yeah, Dr Grandmol was the OG out to everything, dude. Grandmol, Grandmol. Where did he go? Grandma actually w got me my f fourth consecutive top eight back in 2012, playing big regional championships in California with Dino Rabbit. The top four events in a row, dude. All top 32, top 16, or top eight. And my consec, my fourth consecutive top was because of this guy. <laughs> I was I was able to out my opponent's board, getting rid of their stupid, stupid boss monster. Who remembers Chaos Dragons and good old, you know, <laughs> um, 
A light pulsar dragon. <laughs> the dude was an ass. That card was mean, man. <laughs> Neo Spatial Gravel says, nope. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, I got Hero Blast. That's a classic. That looks good as a secret rare. Or Ultra. It's, I think it's an Ultra, actually, from uh, Legendary Collection GX. I, don't, I can't remember. Limit Reverse. It's classic. Okay, this is this is insane that there's so many of these in here. We got Aqua Neos. We got Glow Neos. Dark Neos. Rain Neos. Storm Neos. Brave Neos. And then that's it. There's a few, like, good ones that are missing. But, you know, they can't give you all of them, right? All right, this is the last mini deck in here. This is good old Hassleberry. Good old Dinosaur Soldier. Okay, we got Ultimate Tyranno. Classic. Sauropod Brachian. I do not remember this one. Let's read this one real quick together. Can I be special summon from your deck? You can tribute some on this card face up by tributing one dinosaur monster. Uh, once per turn, you can change this card to face down defense position. If this card is flipped up, change all other monsters on the field to face down defense position. Dang, dude, he's a book of eclipse. If this card is attacked, any battle damage your opponent takes from the battle is doubled. If this card is attacked, so not if this card attacks, or if this card does battle, so it has to be attacked into by your opponent. That's an interesting card. I wonder if there's a way to like force your opponent to attack it. Hey, Sabersaurus, my classic. I've never noticed. Hold up. <laughs> I played Dino Rabbit for literally like an entire year straight. I never noticed on Sabersaurus he's surrounded by a bunch of babies. <laughs> never noticed that that is so funny dude these come secret rare in joey's world holy smokes this and cabazools came secret they're so fire they're so cool dude i never noticed there's a bunch of babies back there no wonder he's so mad or she's mad probably a mom protecting her kids i got anima dorn orchestra this is a newer card from i think two years ago this was a, a 2021 Yu-Gi-Oh card or 2022 Yu-Gi-Oh card I can't remember. It was during... This definitely came out during when I was not playing Yu-Gi-Oh! So, <laughs> it's a good card, though. We've seen it many times on the channel. Baby Sarasaurus, a classic. Black Velocity is a classic. Tyranno Infinity, dude. This card was actually insane. This card was actually insane, dude. Like, in the actual TCG, not just the anime. Like, in the actual TCG, that card was insane. Destroyosaurus is how you get Jurassic World. Dynabase. This is a new one. This and freaking um, Dino Tank came out in here for the first time ever in English. Your life points are lower than your opponent, so you can special summon this card from your hand. During your main phase, you can fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck. Using this card, you control another monster from your hand or fields of material. So it's kind of like a, um, it's like a palm, it's like a comeback card. It's a comeback card, you know? There's Dark Triceratops. With Gilosaurus, that's a classic Hassleberry combo. Because I you know, control no monsters, I can special summon the Gilosaurus. And I'll tribute to extra strengthen up my troops. <laughs> this is the stupidest lingo, but I love it. Okay, big evolution pill. That's classic. Tail swipe. Classic. <laughs> Fossil dig, all the little naked guys. Did these guys ever get a card? I think this one did. Did this guy ever get an actual card? Does anyone remember? Because these are, these are very old Yu-Gi-Oh cards. There were these like naked clay people riding paper airplanes. They're called Aitsu and Koitsu. They're a union cards. Um, they worked with each other. I remember this guy got a different card. I don't remember what it's called, but I remember there's an artwork with him on it. But I don't remember ever seeing this on any card other than Fossil Dig. Does anyone remember if this green card has a different uh, card art and what its name could be? Because these, this is this is Koitsu and Aitsu, these guys. Fun little random trivia for you, you know. I've been in Yu-Gi-Oh forever, so I know a lot of weird stuff about cards. <laughs> Go Google it. Yeah, the, the gloss is the best part, Bao, 100%. Look at those. Those are so clean. These are printed on OCG cardstock. That's why they have that shine. If you ever have any OCG cards, even back in the just 25 years ago when it first launched... OCG cards have always looked like this, man. Ton I have tons of OCG cards in my collection. I collect them like crazy. I love OCG cards. Asian English, too. I love Asian English cards as well. 
they have like the english printing and on the back it's all japanese on the back side they're super unique speaking of they just released rarity collection in asian english i might buy a box of it and crack it on the channel like the rarity collection that we got this last november it just dropped in asian english so you have english and then asian on the, the you know the japanese backing on the back of it kind of want to open some of those and see what they if there's any difference to any other card gabriel says all four what is the green one's card name what is the green one's name yeah we need <laughs> I wish from the start that we had this quality of cards. I don't know. Old Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Old Yu-Gi-Oh cards have a really good vibe to them too. Um, you know, stuff from like the Duel Monsters era. The GX era. Okay. The GX era is not just my favorite for like the show purpose, but also the card pool. The card pool was just phenomenal. Uh, incredible decks. Crazy good cards. And the quality of cards in this era are just through the roof dude ultimate rares and secret rares were never the same ever again after gx some of the like starts of the 5ds they're pretty solid but then after that when konami takes over the printing print the printing press from upper deck they completely changed how all the cards look so if you see any cards that come out you know after 5ds into the generation force era like the last 5d sets um storm ragnarok and extreme victory we're not printed by upper deck they're printed by konami and that's why the cards look way different all of a sudden different ink different coloring different hollow foil patterns like everything just changed and it was like a huge shock and then like next year they changed it again because they did like the full art like uh, zoom in i don't know if anyone in the chat has been around that long for Yu Gi Oh, but it happened first when they did the battle pack battle pack epic dawn they increase the size of the cards. Not like the whole card, but like the picture. Old Yu-Gi-Oh cards had a, such a small border. Um, I, I should show you. Hold on. I'll show you. I hope my safe for a second. All right. I'm going to show you something real quick. For those of you who haven't been in the game since like the old days when everything changed <laughs> all right so here we have a original esv genzo first edition okay this is probably one of my favorite cards I, I own in my collection um notice how look how the the picture is on the card get a zoom okay now, side by side with this Jinzo. See how different the art is? Look how big, look how big the picture is on the on this is the new Jinzo from the reprint set. See that? The art is bigger. Jinzo is bigger. He's blown up. The whole like picture of the card is larger. The text is larger. Everything on the card is larger, except the stars and the name and the attribute sign, right? But everything else, the text, the names, the box. The artwork itself, it's all blown up. And this changed uh, in, in sometime in 2012. Um, and cards have been like this ever since. They, they've been like this ever since. It was like, it was it was weird when it first happened for us, like having cards like this forever. And then all of a sudden they look like that. We were like, what happened? You know, <laughs> it's just like, yeah, that was a big change uh, that happened. And if I remember right, it happened during the Battle Pack Epic Dawn when they reprinted Tour Guide for the first time. <laughs> that was a big reprint. Say goodbye to Jinzo. He's going back in the safe. But yeah, one day you guys will get to see some of my, some of my collection. There's some, there's some sick stuff in there. <laughs> this is just, an, this is just a tip of the iceberg, man, of some goodies that I have. All right. After that aside, okay. So we got Doitsu for the yellow, Soitsu for the green. Thank you guys. Um, their English names Gabriel says are they translate to this guy, that guy, which guy, the other guy. <laughs> that is so funny. You never noticed that before on the cards, really? That's crazy. I figured I figured you would. You're a big time collector too. But it is it is a it is a small it. 
it's a small detail, you know, that if you weren't looking for it now, probably wouldn't notice at the first glance. You'd have to be someone brought it, bring it to your attention. But I'll never forget when that happened. I was like, yo, my cards look different, man. <laughs> Banish two or more dinosaur monsters from your graveyard. Special summon one dinosaur monster from your hand or graveyard whose level equals the total levels of those banished monsters, but it cannot attack this turn. That's a good card. Yo, there's baby Sarasaurus ready to go. That's a, that's a sick card, actually. Oh. <laughs> that's a that's a good card. Typhoon. This is a cool card, too. This card used to be played a lot in competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! when it came out. I think it came out in the third battle pack. Yeah, I think it was the third battle pack. They made like four or five cards that just have the most bizarre, interesting artworks of all time in Yu-Gi-Oh! Where they're like realistic. They look like Magic the Gathering cards. They're not in traditional anime style Yu-Gi-Oh art. They're like straight up realistic looking things and they are bizarre. This is one of those cards. <laughs> you never do. Well, now you know. Now you know and you can share it. You can share it around uh, to other collectors too. Or just around people at locals. You know, look at look at this. Look at this thing that I learned from this idiot I watched on the internet. <laughs> we got Survival Instinct. It's a classic. Volcanic Eruption, classic. That's an old Yu-Gi-Oh card, man, from the, one of the first sets. Paleozoics are in this. That's bizarre. Those are... There he is. There he is, chat. Dying to take. <laughs> Check a look. Take a look at this guy, man. I'm so happy this is a real card now. Look at that guy. <laughs> Gains attack equal to the original attack of the dinosaur monster used for its fusion summon. You can only use each of the following effects of Dying to take once per turn. When a card or effect is activated that targets uh, this one card on the field and no other cards, quick effect, target one other card on the field that would be appropriate. That card of effect now targets that new. So it's kind of like a, it's like a switcheroo kind of thing, you know, like magical arm shield, if you will, um, where you're taking a card effect to target something different. This card in its own possession is destroyed by an opponent's card, especially someone when Donus or Monster from your doesn't matter what it is, just anything. These are the extra cards that come in here. We got Arm Dragon level 10 white. This was played by uh uh Chaz Princeton while he was in the Society of Light. This was his this was his ace monster when it had white veil on it. Cyberdark Cannon. Um this I think is a brand new card for Zane Truesdale. I don't think I've ever seen this card printed before. Honestly, I don't think this card was ever printed either. Now that I mention, now that I think about it, can't remember if this card ever had a printing in the past. This card, I'm pretty confident, never had a printing though. Let's read it actually. This card is sent to the graveyard while equipped to a monster. You can draw one card. You can only use each of the following effects of Cyberdark Cannon once per turn. You can discard this card, add a machine Cyberdark monster from your deck to your hand. That's pretty. During damage calculation, if a monster equipped with this card battles, you can summon a monster from your deck to the graveyard. That's a good card, like straight up. Like, like, I don't know if anyone has ever tried Cyber Darks before, but their entire like thing revolves around um, equipping each other, uh, s destroying and sacrificing your own cards to equip themselves to them to make them bigger and stronger, and sending a lot of them to the graveyard. And then, obviously, you go in with like Overload Fusion for like the big guys. Um, kind of a cool deck. It's like a it's a big time just like feast and sacrifice deck. It was actually really popular in these days, in the GX days. It was a very, very good deck. Um, Chimera Tech uh, over Dragon, attacking with, you know, 20,000 attack points with piercing and stuff. was, uh, And you can attack like 10 times. It's pretty, pretty nasty. Prisma is classic, dude. I'd love to pull another one of these in Secret Rare today. This card looks premium as a secret, dude. Mookie Mookie. This card's brand new in Yu-Gi-Oh! too. I don't know why it's in here. Legendary Duel is 2017. Dang, dude, I do not remember the card, man. Do not remember the card. Miracle Fusion, good card. There's White Veil. I think... I feel like this card was printed in one of those, like, Dragons of Legend packs or something. It had a lot of... Those sets were, like, almost entirely anime-exclusive cards. Survival's and... Don't remember this one. Destroy as many normal monsters in the field as possible. And if you do special summon one level four or lower 
Oh, sorry, not one. Special summon level four lower dinosaur monsters from your deck up to the number destroyed, but destroy them in the end phase. Banish this card from the graveyard, then target one monster you control and one party control. Uh, one card your opponent controls, destroy them. That card is good all the time. That's good. There <laughs> he is, Mookie Mookie. <laughs> you're, you're, don't be embarrassed to show your face in the, the, in the, the WhatsApp group. You could ask if other people knew that, you know? And then Wild Edge. Okay. So that's all the cards in this Speed Duel product. Should we open up the Secret Rares? Let's do it, yeah? I don't think we really have the time to go into the Battle City stuff today. Let's take a look at the uh, the, the other ones, huh? Uh, at the Secret Rares. Let's do it. So, I have to open the other ones first. And then we'll grab all the Secrets. Hold up. Got a whole case of these here, man. These are provided by Paragon City Games. Thank you guys for hooking us up with a whole case of this product today to show to you guys. So today we are praying for Fossil Dinopacacephalo to make an appearance. <laughs> Please. We are also praying to see Elemental Hero Neos Alias. Neo's patient Grand Mole. And of course, some more, uh, you know, some more of the other cards are always nice. Gotta close these up each one week as we go. Yeah, let's, let's hope cope for some Pacacephalos, guys. Get, give us some po good positive energy in the chat right now. Hope cope for some po Fossil Dynamo. That is the most expensive card in this set. It's like a $20 secret, dude. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like, th this is another thing, too. Like, Speed Duel products, so far, I've only opened two of them. Streets of Battle City and this guy. We've done two incredibly amazing videos on both of, the, on both of these products uh, on the channel. Uh, you guys can definitely take, the, take a watch on those uh, afterwards. But, uh... Those are two of the like best videos we've ever had on our channel. They're amazing. The, the thing that's amazing the most is just the value you get in, <laughs> in the cards, you know? Like a lot of people don't touch speed duel stuff. They just they don't touch it. They they look at uh this stuff as like a waste. And you know, they're kind of like only focusing on the TCG, right? Whereas in reality, actually, like there are so many good reprint cards in these for new cards, old cards, especially if you're a Time Wizard player. And then the Secret Rares are just premium, dude. Like they all have value. Like none of them are worth lit, like worthless. They're all worth at least like a dollar or more. But most of them are like three, five dollar cards. And then there's a fair amount of them that are 10 to 20 bucks, man. Just crazy. So like there's cards worth more than what you're paying to get the box. Like it's, it's wild. It's like one of the few products in Yu-Gi-Oh where you like plus every time you open it, you know, we got two more. Here comes the Dinah. Get the God cards out. The raw. If you're a channel member in the chat, let me see some wing dragon of raw emotes in the chat. I just put up a bunch of new emotes cause we got more channel members recently. We have 13 right now, guys. Thank you so much for those of you who've joined the rescue squad. And any of our channel members, there's 13 people joined already. That's so amazing. My goal is to get to 50 channel members this month, guys. 50. That'd be amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Channel memberships are really cool. It's a unique thing that we get as a YouTube partner. You guys get those cool rescue rescue um, you know, rescue animals, rescue squad characters, like rescue ferret, rescue cat, rescue rabbit, and so on. You get those badges next to your name everywhere on YouTube. Um, and then you also get access to all of our really cool emotes and artwork and then exclusive uh, benefits and perks that only you guys get on Discord. But the support there goes directly towards helping me make my, my, my content, right? Join as low as $1.99 a month for my channel memberships, guys. Super incredible. Speaking of super incredible, though, it's time. Hey, there's the Winged Dragon Raw. Let's go. Let's get him out. Where is he? I usually have raw out on the uh, on the table. For those new here, when we do uh, live cracking, we have a winged dragon of raw that we pray to. It's my favorite god card, so we have to use my favorite one. And uh, we give it a little chant to bless our pulls. Give us some good stuff today. But I'm embarrassed because 
I seem to have misplaced Wind Dragon of Rock today. <laughs> Don't banish me to the Shadow Realm, dude. Where is Ra, dude? Where did he go? He's around the desk somewhere, man. There he is. It's hidden underneath a fat stack of Edison cards. All right. Here we go. Got some epic music on over there they're freaked out about something all right here we go ready devastators there he is wing dragon of raw hear my cry give us broken busted pulls till the day that i die and if i pull this absolute heat you will have the most beautiful beautiful i haven't figured out the last words yet to use but you know we're trying to come up with our own chant. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Six on the table. Let's shuffle them up. Let's get it. Let's get a Devastator. You ready? Let's see some good stuff. Hey, Penny. Let's not bark at stuff. Alright, here we go, guys. Ooh, them puppies are mad at something. Hey, guys. Let's not do that. Oh, let's not. I guess you say hi to Penny real quick. Why are you barking, Penny? What's wrong? Why are you barking at stuff, girl? Hmm? What are you barking at? Hmm? Oh. Alright. Pack number one. Numa Eins. Let's get in there. But, uh, yeah, if you guys haven't heard the news, I am now a full-time YouTuber, man. Starting this last- this week. You know, last week we made the announcement. Starting this week, I am now officially a full-time Yugi tuber I've left my job, my actual normal job, and I am now officially a full-time Yugi tuber so You guys will see a lot more of me. You'll see three videos a week, and you'll see me on live streams almost every single day around this time, uh, doing a various number of, th of things. Um, you know, playing Master Duel, opening products and reviewing them with you guys, building decks, and obviously playing some more Yu-Gi-Oh as well. So, super excited for the road ahead. Big thank you to everyone in the Devastator Squad and our community for helping us get to where we are. Big special shout out to all of our channel members. For those of you who have joined the channel memberships, you guys have been, it's been a massive help to get us to where we are to do this. And of course, I always got to say a big thank you to all of our patrons. Our, our Patreon subscribers, thank you so much to everyone who backs me on Patreon because I literally cannot be doing this without you. So thank you so much to the patrons. And... Uh, Let's rock and roll. If you guys want to join the channel memberships, there's a join button down below. It helps directly support me and my work. And you can also join Patreon if you want to. You get access to really cool benefits across all our platforms. You also get entered into get monthly giveaways for booster packs, booster boxes, sign cards that I pull on my videos, and so much more. Oh, man. Here we go. Bones, what's up? I've been so good, Bones. How about you? First, cigarette pack is here. And I want to be very careful because these do not open very nicely. And we don't want to damage these cards. At all. Okay, here we go. The moment we've all been waiting for. Wing Dragon of Raw. Did you give us something good on our first pull? <sighs> yes, he did. Card Trooper coming in for our first secret rare Devastators. Dude, this card looks fire. Look at that. Just phenomenal, man. Holy smokes, dude. I think this is the only time he's ever come secret rare, man. If I'm... I don't think he was secret rare in... Uh... Maybe he was in Legendary Collection 2. Can't remember. But this guy's card looks so clean. It looks so clean, doesn't it? Dang. Solid card there. Okay, we got Neo Spatial Aqua Dolphin coming up. That is solid. He looks so good as a secret. Wow. Yeah, this is where it's at for Speed Duel, man. Like, I am so attracted to these. One of these days, we will open every single box of Speed Duel products on the channel. I have almost all of them completed. There's like one more GX one I got to collect. And then we have to get the first Battle City box, which is really rare. But once we get those, man, expect a big video coming. We're going to once again put on our Slifer Slacker gear and open up every single GX box. Here we got Aqua Dolphin coming in. <sighs> Buddy, there it is. There it is. Devastator Squad. There he is. My boy. Neo Spatian Granville in Secret Rare. Oh man, that looks good, dude. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. Dude, Wing Dragon of Raw, thank you for the blessings on these pulls. 
so far all three have been bangers dang dude look at that chat that is phenomenal holy smokes Ooh, baby sarasaurus coming in for the last one in pack one okay that was a banger pack dang dude that's like at least 25 dollars in secret rares man at least that's crazy let's see some of these guys up jeez man look at the dude the, the mole is my face that's a winner that is a winner he came secret rare in the legendary collection too and he looks terrible i never played it i always played my ultimate rare or my hobby league version but this one i'm gonna be playing this in edison this week watch out if you guys see me at edison i'm gonna be playing edison tomorrow and thursday at locals better watch out neospatial grandma is coming for you he's coming for your stardust baby he's coming for your stardust <laughs> Let's go. All right. A solid first pack there for us. Here we go. Pack number two coming in. Holy smokes. S. Miller says, geez. Let's go, S. Miller. How's it going? All right. Here we go, guys. Open it up. Come on. I don't know why they don't rip these, like, so nicely. It's like, these the one time you open promos, you don't want to damage them, right? Because these cards are, like, <laughs> they're premium, dude. These aren't Megaton garbage. All right. Here we go. Ooh, Car Trooper once again. We'll take those. These are good. They're necessary. Play Edison. Just about every deck in Edison plays Car Trooper. This card is phenomenal. Good, good lord, dude. One of the classic best targets for Debris Dragon if you're playing Plant Synchro. Let's go, dude. Making a Black Rose or an Ancient Fairy with it. Solid. Ooh, Aqua Dolphin once again. Dude, are we going to double up everything on this one? No way. Dude, that's grab What the heck, chat? We're doubling up on all the cards right now. Yo. Okay, is the third one going to be Baby Sarasaurus? It is, dude. What happened there? What happened there, dude? All four were the same in that one. All four were identical. That is crazy. Okay. That is... There's no rhyme or reason with these with this product, these these speed duels, man. They, they can be anything. Anything goes with these, man. Like I'm telling you, we opened one that had the same card, literally back to back, in the same pack. There was two Ultimate Conductor Tyrannos back to back. It was like, who prints this stuff? <laughs> oh man, he is cute. Ah, it's a cute card. All right, come on. Come on. Ah. All right, ready? It's pack number three, the halfway point. All right. You guys ready? Reveal. Front card. I wonder if that's where Fossil Dynamo will be in the front. Okay, we got one, two, three. Ooh, Prisma. Let's go. I, I wanted another one of these, man, for my Gladiator Beast, baby. Let's go, dude. Prisma Glads are ready to rock. Let's do it. Oh, man. Dude, this card looks so fire. Man, this has got to be... This has got to be the best printing ever of Elemental Hero. Prisma. Originally came as a Jump Ultra, and he was a super rare and a 10. He has some commons that... I think this is the highest rarity he's ever been. And it looks phenomenal, dude. Like, he's just... It's just one of those cards that just, like, works as a secret, right? With uh, just the... The way that the shine looks, the artwork, the coloring, it's just, it's perfect as a secret rare card. We got Aqua Dolphin again. Jeez, man. There's Neos. Okay, we like him. He looks really good as a secret rare too. I don't remember what he first printed. I think it was printed as an ultimate rare when it first came out. Ooh, Divine Wrath. He got me the trap god. I thought it was Sakuretsu armor, man. <laughs> Those are nice, dude. The Sakuretsu armors are clean. There we go. Divine Wrath. That looks so good as a secret rare, too. Look at... Was it a secret rare before? I know it was a super rare. Rare. A common. An ultimate rare. I don't remember if it ever came secret, though. This card is so cool. This card was really good in many formats in Yu-Gi-Oh's history. Divine Wrath was a really good card. All right. So far, a lot of double ups. But, like, 
at least we're not doubling up on bad cards. You know, these are good cards we're about doubling up on. So that's cool. We'll take those Prismas, though. Okay. Three more, guys. Three more. Still no fossil dying a pack of cephalos yet, which is crazy. This is the second case that we've opened of this product. <laughs> Not a single fossil dino, dude. Why is it so rare? Why is the Hope Cope so real for fossil dino pack of cephalo secret rare? That is crazy. All right. Before we get to this one, I want another quick. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Pack number four. Let's get the reveal. Go. In three, two, one. Okay. Okay. We'll take that. We'll start with that. Sakuretsu armor coming in. The highest rarity possible for this card, man. I guess it, de it depends on the word rarity. If you go rare... Obviously, the championship pack super rare. <laughs> it's a nice, like, $150 card, $200 card, whatever it is these days. Um, but in terms of like rarities themselves, this is the highest printing rarity of Socrates armor ever printed. It's only been a common and a super. Um, so this is amazing. Same with Dust Tornado. Dust Tornado was in Streets of Battle City and it looks phenomenal as a secret rare. We pulled a few of them in our video. You can definitely check that out on the channel later. See those Battle City ones. What's up, dude? We take those. Oh man, fossil dig coming in. <laughs> there they are. This guy, that guy, <laughs> and so on. <laughs> there they are, man. The Aitsu Kaitsu gang. Alright, we got Oh baby! Let's go, dude! Finally! The Hope Cope! We got a final dino pack of cephalo! No way! Let's go, dude! Okay! I'll be honest with you, chat. If it didn't say speed duel right there and right there when I shine the card of <laughs> I just blank I just like spaced out for a second. I literally thought I was holding an original fossil dino from Light of Destruction. This presentation of the card looks exactly the same as it did back then. Like in almost other than obviously the picture size is different. Remember? They're bigger than the old cards, but in terms of like the, the coloring and the shine and the way that the light the lighting hits it, if it looks just like the original version of this card. Like that is a very well done secret rare reprint. That looks just like the original card. That's crazy. Holy smokes. I have I have these in my collection secret. This looks exactly the same, dude. Crazy. And then we've got the big boy, the light ruler coming in. Let's go, man. Okay. And we almost have the entire set, like, to collect. This is crazy cool. All right, we got two big, 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 mega big pulls in that one. <laughs> Fossil Dynapacacephalo coming in, as well as Sakuretsu Armor. Those are huge pulls, chat. Let's go, dude. Boom. All right, we got two more. Can we find one more fossil dinopacacephala? One more. Just one more. That's all I want. One more fossil dyna, and I don't care about the rest of the cards of what come out of them. I just want one more fossil dinopacacephala to come out of these packs. We got two more. Here we go, Devastators. Let's do it. Come on. Here we go. I know, finally, right? It only took almost two whole cases to get one. They are apparently the rarest one to pull. I don't, don't want to damage these, man. Konami, make these easier to open, dude. Gosh, dang, man. I ain't trying to, like, bend my cards when I'm opening your plastic. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Ooh, baby Sarasaurus once again. Okay. All right. That's a whole play set of those pulled today from this case. Solid. Looks adorable. Such a cute card. All right. 
Ooh, guy plate the earth giant coming in. Not too shabby. Come on, baby. Pot of Avarice. We finally found that one, too. We didn't find this one last time, either. We did find Mystical Space Type from the last time. But now, we got the Pot of Avarice, too, Devastator Squad. Let's go. This did come secret rare already from Legend Collection Yugi's World. But uh, that's a really old printing of the card. So, this is the way to get the secret rare Pot of Avarice in modern era. Want to play it in uh, Medicine or Tengu. That is so premium, dude. And another Light Ruler for the last one there. Okay, so we doubled up on that as well. Okay, it's going to come down to last pack magic. And we're praying. We're praying for it, dude. <laughs> come on. Last pack magic. We want to find it. Yeah, it'd be nice if these, like, ripped, like, all along the side so easily. Okay. Here we go, guys. Last one. Okay. Whew. But over. In three, two, one. Ooh, alias. We got one alias. Okay. Okay. We got one Neos alias coming in. That looks so good. He came secret rare already too from Legendary Collection uh, GX. But again, the, the printings for those cards were just... They were just bad. They're just not nice. They're not good. The secrets in that set are terrible. Um, that's because that was during the time period when Konami uh, took over the prints for the first time. And like they decided to make the, like, the, the card text... The shine, everything, the, the the like ink on the car, just to be like they were just too shiny. It was too much. Like the 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 ink, the North American release of Rescue Rabbit, dude, would give you a seizure if you looked at it. It was stupid. Like I literally have foreign copies of like almost everything from that era of Yu-Gi-Oh because I just cannot stand how crappy they look in North American English. They are. Not nice. They are terrible. Oof. Alias looking good. Right next to his daddy, Neos. A little bit of a bleed there on that guy. That's weird. Look at this. There's like some print print, print dusting on this one. Look at that. There's, a, there's actually someone in the comments on our video that, that mentioned that. They said all of their secret rares have dust prints on it. <laughs> that's, that's such... That was so, that's so tragic, dude. All right, Miracle Fusion coming in to go with our Neo Skies. And the last card, will it be a Fossil Dynapacacephalo? Okay, it's an effect monster. Ooh, it's Prisma. Okay, we only got one Fossil Dyna out of two cases of this product. That's crazy, man. That is crazy. Man, I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. Only one of these guys out of two cases. But one's better than zero. One is better than zero, right? One is better than zero. <laughs> super cool, though. What do you guys think, though, of these cards? Aren't they just super sexy, man? Don't they just look like out of this world, man? Like, just phenomenal. These cards look so cool. I'm just blown away. I'm blown away at the just like the print quality of, of these feed tool cards, man. They're just crazy. Here we go. Cool, man. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with these pulls. We got another Sakuretsu. We finally found Neo Spatian Grand Mole. And we got the Fossil Dynapack Acephalo. I think we almost have the entire set now of all the secrets. Pretty solid cards overall. Yeah, one is better than zero. Seriously. One is better than zero. All right. Devastator Squad. I want to bid you all 
a farewell. Thank you so much for tuning in today. That is the end of our time for this uh, stream today. Thank you so much for everyone for hanging out and just having a fun time going through the, the speed duel set in more detail up and close, looking at all the cards and also just pulling these incredible secret rare cards. Uh, make sure to like the video while you're here. It helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already to the channel. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. We got a video dropping tomorrow on the channel, a new video. And then also I'll be live. Uh, I will be live next on YouTube on Thursday, right? So new video tomorrow will be live Thursday and we'll be live Friday. Um, super excited. Got to be going over some, uh, some, some really fun Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, Thursday is going to be time wizard specific and Friday is going to be master duel specific. So I'm super stoked for that. And of course we have a, a video coming out Friday as well. So yep. Super stoked. But yeah, for, uh, you guys will get a video every Monday, Wednesday, Friday now, and then a stream Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. YouTube. So super excited for the for all the road ahead and uh time for me to go to you know just take a quick little break because i'm going to be going live on twitch now in 30 minutes we're going to be doing some star wars unlimited uh over there for the new star wars card game we're we'll doing some matches and also uh opening up a booster box so super stoked if you guys want to see the star wars stuff you can head over to my twitch channel it's the same name as my uh, youtube that was a devastator and uh i'll see you over there awesome now nah, i'll see you guys in the next live stream here on youtube but until